what is up everybody welcome back to another video in today's video as you could tell by the title we're going to be going over 10 shortcuts every roblox developer should know whether you're a beginner or you've even had a successful game these shortcuts are going to be some essentials everyone should be using when they're making their games and so to start with number one we have undo and redo now the reason these are at number one are because I think these ones are very important. They allow you to go back if you make a mistake or even redo an action if you want to return to where you were before undoing. These shortcuts are cross-platform as well and you'll see that when using other things like Blender or Photoshop. Now the second ones we have here are what I like to call the common control keys. And everybody, if they don't already know them, should know them. These are the common copy, cut, and paste shortcuts that are universal across the internet and everywhere almost. In Roblox, these give you the ability to clone an object and replace it multiple times, even remove a model entirely and replace it, or even place it as another part under a different object. So if I had a tree, I could copy and paste it all around the game. Or let's say I wanted to remove the tree from its position entirely and replace it somewhere else, I can cut it and then paste it. Or I could take it even further and take a bunch of those trees, cut them or copy them, and then paste them inside of a folder or another object. And the third one is duplicate. Duplicate is also very common and it's very handy and similar to copy and paste, but different because it clones an object exactly in the position of the object that's being cloned. And it also keeps it inside of the same model if it's in one. Now in fourth, we've got group and ungroup. Group and ungroup are very, very important when trying to keep your things organized, and I highly recommend you do this. These shortcuts are a very quick way to manage organization in your game. When grouping your objects, make sure you have whatever you want to go into it selected. And then you can use this shortcut to group it and it'll turn itself into a model. And then if you want to, you can use ungroup to dissolve the model and turn it back into a bunch of little parts or other models depending on how many times you've grouped it. Now, I don't know if this is infinite, but I don't recommend you group something like a thousand times. Now in fifth, we have tool shortcuts, and these are very good for time management. Using them allows you to cycle between your select, move, scale, rotate and transform tool rapidly. Once you get used to these as well, you can swap tools on the spot without having to go around in your tabs and click on them, which is actually something I still do. This is very handy for when you need to do multiple things to an object right away, which as you get better will become very, very often. In sixth, we have the insert object shortcut, and this one is great for adding what you need to the workspace, a model, or anywhere else very quickly. When you use it, it brings up a UI with tons of things that you can choose to add based on your needs. Whether you need a part, a script, or many other things, you search for it and then you can add it to your game or your model, whatever you need it in. In seventh, we have zoom to selection, and it's very handy when you don't know where an object is, especially if you've got a huge map with tons of objects and models, and you need to see what you're working on. This most likely is going to be used when you're far away, and you're selecting something in the distance, and you need to zoom to it very quickly, or you select an object through the explorer and use it to locate the object, and then zoom to it. In eighth, we have the delete key. And uh, yeah, this one may seem like a dumb one to add because I mean, come on, delete means remove. But I added this because I imagine that people don't use the delete key as often as they should. Instead, they might use the cut keybind or they might right click and manually click delete 
in the menu. And so this keybind will save you those extra steps. And instead of adding it to your clipboard, which is what the cut tool does, the delete key will remove it from your game entirely. Now in number nine, we have change spaces. And this one's a relatively new shortcut, but it's also very helpful, and I like to use this one a lot. It allows you to swap between using the local origin and the world origin, and this is really useful when you need to determine how you're going to rotate, scale, or move an object. Depending on what axis it's using, it can make your object rotate or scale or move in different directions. Put it simply, using the local axis or local origin means that it'll change relative to its own origin and the direction of its own origin. And if it's using the world axis or origin, it'll change relative to the origin in the world, which is 0, 0, 0. Which, if you don't know, that is the center of the world or workspace, whatever you want to call it. Now, finally, in number 10, this isn't the best for last, but it, it, it's a pretty useful one. We have slow camera movements, and these are kind of an absolute must, especially if you're a modeler or a builder. This shortcut allows you to move around orbit and pan going slower than normal, allowing you to pay closer attention to your minor details and move them to fit more accurately. Guys, we need a subscriber for every single duck that was in this video, because there are a lot of ducks in this video. And if you want or you are paying attention, you should leave a comment as to how many ducks were in the video. And I I, I don't know, I, I'll heart the comment or something. There's no special prize. Guys, I almost forgot to mention, we're 100 subscribers away from 1,000. So let's make it happen. Let's try and get 1,000. I don't know if we can do it within this month. If I keep uploading, we probably can, but let's try and get to a thousand soon. Otherwise, thank you all for watching. That was 10 tips that every developer should know. And I hope you guys learned something from that. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please make sure to like, subscribe, and share the video as always. And also check out the links down below. We've got a Discord, we've got a Twitch, a Gilded coming soon, a Roblox group. I've even made a game for this channel that you can go check out and play and buy merch and hang out in there if you want. There's a obbies and stuff and we're gonna have sword fighting soon. It's gonna be a very cool place. Otherwise, once again, I hope you guys enjoyed or learned something and I will see you in the next video.